I seriously debated making this video, but I feel like it is extraordinarily necessary, especially now that I've just gotten to the point where I could not give five fucks less about the subject. With this video, I am publicly removing myself from this whole Amy Slayton bullshit, and I'm doing this because I still get messages every single day from new people. I still get comments every single day from new people asking the same shit about what happened, who's involved, things like that, and honestly, I ignore those comments because I just, I, I ran out of fucks to give about the situation, honestly. So this is just me giving you my explanation and being done. Like, this is the last video I will ever make on the subject ever. I'm done. I have nothing more to say about what had happened. I said everything I had to say in the videos I posted. What influenced me to go ahead and do this video is the fact that people are still messaging me to this very day, asking me for permission to be a reference in their videos about what had happened. I don't give a fuck what you do, quite frankly. I don't give a shit what you do. However, I am not going to lend you my opinion. I'm not going to lend you my blessings. Whatever you choose to do in your channel is what you choose to do. I have been asked many times if I plan on reconciling with Amy in the future, I absolutely have no intention to do so. Nothing that girl says or does, either now or in the future, will ever change my mind about her. I think she's a very shitty person. And what I think about her has nothing to do about the way she looks. I don't know where people got that from. A lot of people go after me saying that I'm making her life difficult because of her weight. How is her weight my problem? I had nothing to do with that, first of all, and my problem with her had nothing to do with her weight. My problem with Amy has everything to do with her lack of morals because nobody with morals would ever do what she did. My issue with Amy is the fact that she scammed people and has no remorse over it. If you are somebody who unfortunately did donate a substantial amount of money, you do have the right to press charges and go after her legally. That's at least what I was told. However, if you donated $10 like I did or $5 or any lesser amount, I would just cut your losses because you're not going to get that money back. She claims, once again, to be paying people back, but I know that's a fucking lie. But internally, I really do hope someone does come forward who did donate a substantial amount of money and I really do hope you guys take her to court because she honestly deserves it because of what she did. And of course, if you are somebody with all the proof that you need against her, then the law is on your side and you will win that case. So good luck to you if you choose to. If you are waiting for Amy to sit down and actually give you an honest apology for what she had done, I would stop holding your breath because it's never going to happen. Like I said, she is not remorseful in the slightest. As a matter of fact, she continues to do the same bullshit she used to. Of course, she's not doing GoFundMes anymore because I'm pretty sure she learned her lesson the first time. But now she's sneaking in low-key hints about things that she's almost out of, things that she really, really wants, things that she absolutely has been wanting for the longest time that she can afford right now and boohooing on camera. Doing the same shit, but you know what? At the end of the day, she's still getting all the shit she wants, so obviously it's working for her, so good for you, girl. Good for you. But like I said, it would be an extraordinarily cold day in hell before she ever apologizes for what she had done. And to answer those of you who have asked me, yes, I did see that cringeworthy live stream Amy had just done with The Click. And honestly, I only got through maybe like 10 to 15 minutes of it because it was so hard to watch. It was hard to watch because all of these people at one point in time, apart from maybe like one or two people, actually no, just one person, had all made videos that were very, very mean towards Amy, making videos about how nasty she is, the way she dresses, and all this bullshit, yet here they all were saying all these nice things and being so friendly to Amy to her face. Funny how that happens. If you know who I'm referencing, like, leave a heart down below because holy shit, he cracks me the fuck up. I literally felt bad for Amy because I don't think she realized that they were actually being very nasty to her in that video. Like, a lot of them were making low-key little jokes here and there, little inside jokes here and there, giggling and laughing when she was talking and bullshit. Like, wanted to reach through the computer screen and shake this girl and be like, girl, they're being fake as fuck. What was even more hilarious to me was the fact that all these people who hated Amy, who didn't like Amy, who couldn't trust Amy, all this bullshit, we're making plans to collab with her in the future. If you don't like somebody, don't waste your time on them, you know what I mean? But then again, that's just me. I'm just calling out people for being fake, so don't mind me. And I know some people are like, well, they're being civil. No, they're being fake as fuck, you could tell. Then again, half the bigger YouTuber crowd we have here in the beauty community don't like each other, but they're all working together on different things, so I guess it can't be that bad, right? And lastly, I want to just end off this entire video by saying something to Amy personally. Amy, I really hope that one day you grow up and mature a little bit mentally and realize that what you have done in the past is not right. I hope that one day remorse does come to you and you do feel bad for what you had done. But then again, when you have all these people telling you you did nothing wrong, how can you be told that you've done something wrong when you've been convinced otherwise for so long? 
With time and maturity, you will realize that lies don't get you anywhere. With lies, you have to fabricate lie after lie after lie to cover your ass, and let's be honest, girl, you have proven many, many times that you are not the best at keeping track of your own lies. Which is honestly, I think, the main reason why people just don't like you is because you keep trying to lie about different things when there's no need to. If you choose, however, to keep on lying, I hope that you learn to lie a little better. Lie about things that honestly people don't give a shit about. Don't lie about people's money and where it went to. Don't lie about boyfriends. Don't lie about dogs. Don't lie about GoFundMes, what you need money for. Just be an honest person. Honesty, like the cliche says, is always the best policy. If you came to my channel from Amy's channel and you think that there's going to be continued drama between us, at this point, I don't have the energy or the patience to keep this going. But at the end of the day, this is all over with. She's not going to give you the money back. She's not sorry. She's not going to apologize for anything. And I'm sorry, she is a shitty person. And no, I'm not saying that because of the way she looks. I honestly have no problem with the way she looks. She is her own person. If you're going to judge somebody, judge them on their character and how they act, not the way they look. Because the way they look physically does nothing to you, the way they treat you does. So that being said, guys, I'm done here. I love you guys so, so much. Bye.